The Pele Northern Water Board primarily provides bulk water services to water service institutions and industries in the Mapani, Sekukuni, Capricorn and Mohalakwena municipalities. At Lepele Northern Water, we are committed to ensuring employees, visitors and contractors are safe and protected from hazards during their time at our plants through the implementation of health, safety and environmental or HSE rules and regulations which we have formulated in accordance with the Occupational Health and Safety Act, the National Environmental Management Act and other applicable legislation and standards. We are also committed to keeping our natural and working environment safe and free from pollution and degradation and have put preventative and control measures into practice to ensure we preserve our environment and keep our employees, contractors and visitors safe at the same time. We ask that you pay careful attention during this safety induction presentation and help us to create a safe and happy work environment. The Pele Northern Water is committed to providing a safe and healthy workplace for employees. HSE objectives and targets are determined to ensure a safe and healthy workplace. Risks and hazards are identified and control measures are put into place to minimize the chance of injuries, accidents and damage. The Pele Northern Water has committed to continual improvement to the management of health and safety and the protection of the environment. These are the main points. The full policy is on display on notice boards around your workplace and you will read through them after this induction video. There are six golden HSE rules at Lepele Northern Water that should be obeyed at all times. The first rule is to ensure the safety and health of yourselves and that of others. All incidents and near misses must be reported immediately. Housekeeping standards must be kept at a high level. Always prevent environmental pollution. No one is allowed to be on a Lepele Northern Water site while under the influence of alcohol or illegal substances. If you are taking medication that makes you drowsy, you must inform your supervisor at the beginning of your shift. This is especially important if you are operating a vehicle or machine that requires your full attention and concentration. And number six, always ensure that you are wearing the correct personal protective clothing for the task. While on site, you will notice signs that will help you to keep the workplace safe. These signs are divided into five groups. Mandatory signs show something that must be complied with, such as what personal protective equipment should be worn while performing a work task. Prohibitory signs show actions that are not permitted, such as no unauthorized entry to a hazardous area. Fire equipment signs indicate where fire extinguishers are situated. Information signs show evacuation directions and where first aid stations are found. Warning signs can be yellow and black triangular signs or square orange signs. These warn against hazards such as live electricity and dangerous substances. Workshops, stores and other areas are marked to indicate which areas are for storage, for work areas, walkways and areas where goods may not be stored. These demarcation rules must be adhered to at all times. Personal protective equipment and clothing, or PPE and PPC, is supplied to ensure a person is protected from hazards and injuries to their eyesight, hearing, lungs, etc. while performing their work. Apart from the obvious, like steel cap safety boots protecting you from physical injury, or eye protection to protect you from foreign objects injuring your eyes, other PPE and PPC is employed to protect you from the less obvious impacts of working at Lepele. For example, ear protection protects you from irreparable noise-induced hearing loss, which can occur in as short a time as 15 minutes when exposed to levels that are more than 85 decibels. 
When on site at a La Pele plant, ops and maintenance employees must be wearing safety boots or shoes with a steel toe cap and overalls with a work shirt underneath the overall jacket. Employees working in the laboratory and control room should always wear an acid-resistant lab coat. For lung protection, wear the relevant respirators, masks or a BA set if there is a possibility of overexposure to chemicals and fumes. Remember that some specific jobs require special PPE and PPC. Always be aware of the mandatory signage showing you what the required PPE and PPC is for the job you are performing before you start the job. Some of it is highly specialised and essential to your well-being. Employees, visitors and contractors must report any hazard, unsafe behaviour and persons working without authority to the superintendent of the plant. Always be on the lookout for signage that is there to show you what PPE and PPC is required in order for you to perform your task safely and effectively. Keeping your workspace organised, clean and unobstructed is the best way to reduce risk. Store items safely on shelves, ensuring the heaviest items are on the lowest shelves. There should be no items protruding into the walkways. Walkways and stairs, especially emergency routes and exits, must always be clean and dry without obstruction and should always be free of oil and other slippery substances. Always check tools for damage before and after use and make sure that they are clean before you pack them away. Employees using portable electrical equipment and machinery must be qualified to do so. Homemade or makeshift tools can be hazardous and are not allowed on the Pele Northern Water sites. If you are lifting heavy objects, always plan the lift. Make sure that you bend your knees and not your back. And that if the object is too heavy or too awkward to move for one person, that you have the required assistance in order to move it safely. Even while in the offices at a La Pele plant or site, there are potential dangers and hazards that you should watch out for. While working at a La Pele site, wear the appropriate clothing for the day, remembering that you may be required to leave the office and enter work areas from time to time, even if you are just walking through the site to reach or leave the office area. Always keep your office space neat, uncluttered and clear of obstructions, especially emergency exits and pathways. Make sure that your work area is comfortable and that your desk and chair are correctly set up so that you are not negatively affected by your day-to-day -day tasks. To avoid eye strain while using laptops and computers, ensure the computer is not reflecting light from the overhead lighting or the window. Turn your screen to avoid glare. Allow your eyes to stretch, looking at a distance, every 20 minutes. Ensure the top of the computer screen is level with your eyebrows to prevent neck and back strain that happens if you look down at the screen for too long. Only authorised employees may drive Le Pele Northern Water vehicles. Before setting off on a trip, drivers must conduct a thorough vehicle inspection. Check tyre tread the body of the vehicle for damage, lights, oil and water levels and availability of first aid kits and fire extinguishers. Complete your checklist and report deviations or incidents immediately to your supervisor. Do not drive a vehicle if it is not roadworthy. Comply with all the rules and regulations of the road while on and off La Pele Northern Water sites. Keep to the speed limits and be aware of possible dangers on the roads, such as cows and goats. No people are allowed on the back of buckies or trucks. Don't use your cell phone while driving. Always wear seat belts, even while driving around the plant. Stick to the road speed limit. Do not pick up private passengers while operating Le Pele vehicles. Drive with your lights on in misty weather. Not so that you can see, but rather so you can be seen by other road users. Hazardous chemical substances can cause physical harm or have a negative effect on your health. Always ensure that the proper PPE and PPC are worn to protect you from potential hazardous substances. In order to protect your skin, such as from lime and other chemicals, wear gloves and wear goggles to avoid contact with sensitive sinuses and tear ducts. 
When working with any chemical, you must familiarize yourself with the material safety data sheet for that chemical. The material safety data sheets have details on each hazardous chemical substance that you might find at the workplace and will include first aid procedures as well as storage and handling instructions to ensure your safety. Hazardous chemical substances should only be stored in an area that has been designated for this purpose. These areas should be bunded and well ventilated and also have access control. If you are working with hazardous chemical substances, do not pour them into unlabeled containers. Always ensure that you and others know what is inside all containers on site. When we talk about biological hazardous substances, we are referring mainly to the live biological cultures present in sewerage. Employees that work in or near sewerage manholes with sewage samples, for instance in laboratories, and in sludge management should ensure that they are wearing the appropriate PPE and PPC at all times and should also ensure that safe work procedures are always followed. Wash your hands after handling these substances. Permits are required for work that requires a lockout, work that needs to be done in a confined space, if scaffolding is to be used, and if you are going to be working at height or when excavating. The permits can only be issued by the superintendent and must be completed in full and returned to the issuing superintendent. Lockouts are needed to isolate machinery so that work on or around the machinery can be performed in a safe manner. When work requires that you enter a confined space, such as a reservoir, manhole with a vertical ladder or a sewage pipeline, a confined space permit must be obtained from the superintendent. If you need to erect scaffolding, make sure it is properly erected by a qualified person, that it is secure and stable, and that the correct scaff tags have been used. If you are required to work at a height of 2 meters or more, make sure that your footing is secure and that you are wearing the required harness correctly. Trenches should be fence barricaded with the name and number of the excavator operator posted clearly on the fence. Before the work starts, visually check the area for wildlife before exiting the vehicle. Have a person on standby watching for wild animals while the work is being done. This person should be in a position to see as much of the area as possible. Park the vehicle as close to the job area as possible to ensure easy access in case a wild animal is seen nearby. If there are animals acting aggressively or if they appear dangerous, contact Fauna and Flora to remove them immediately. If you need to work on the pipeline, make sure that you avoid heat stroke and dehydration by drinking water every 15 minutes, particularly in summer. Make sure that you have checked in the manholes and around the work area for snakes and other hazards. Only employees trained to remove snakes may do so. Do not attempt to handle the snake if you have not been trained by a professional. Inspect ladders before and after use for defects. Make sure that the ladder is stable and correctly anchored. And if you need to use an extension ladder, make sure that the ladder is secured against something solid. Always use both hands to climb the ladder and make sure that the ladder is the correct length for the job. From time to time, employees of Lepele will be required to attend toolbox talks where specific aspects of safety will be covered in a discussion or presentation. Employees are required to sign in to prove their attendance. If you need to lift heavy objects, take careful note that you use the correct crane for the job you are performing. Taking note of the weight of the object being lifted, make sure that the beam, chain block and any motorized cranes that you might be using will support what you are lifting. Plan the lift and make sure you are in control at all times. Powered cranes should only be used by people who are trained to do so. Follow the safe work procedures when handling chlorine cylinders. Wear the appropriate PPE and ensure you have a buddy outside who can assist you with the relevant PPE in case of an emergency. Be aware of the location of the eye bath. 
If welding, make sure that you are wearing the proper welding helmet and gloves and make sure that there is an extraction fan and that it is working effectively. Emergency contact numbers and procedures are found on notice boards around Le Pele plants. Take special note of where first aid stations are situated. Fire and emergency drills are conducted from time to time to ensure personnel know what is expected of them during a real crisis. When on a scheme, expect this procedure. During a drill or in an emergency, visitors must be shown to the correct assembly point. When at head office, expect this procedure. When evacuating, employees should use emergency fire doors and not the main stairwell as this will cause congestion at the exit turnstile. Anyone injured or incapacitated should be evacuated using the evacuation chairs. Evacuate quickly to the assembly point via the emergency fire doors and stairwells. Ensure that your visitors are shown to the correct assembly point. Stand quietly in groups according to the floor you are based on and sign the attendance register. Only return to your workstation if the building has been declared safe. One of the emergency procedures that is practiced is confined space rescue. Specialized equipment and training is required to safely extract a person from a confined space. A near miss is an incident that did not result in injury, illness or damage, but had the potential to do so. For example, if someone trips over an extension lead, there may have been no injury, but reporting the near miss can help to reduce the risk of future injury. All incidents and near misses must be reported to the superintendent before the end of the shift. An incident is where there was a first aid case, a minor injury, a medical case, a disabling injury, loss of a limb or a fatality. If there is an incident, an incident report should be completed and an investigation into the causes should be conducted. This is not so that blame can be assigned, but is to determine any shortfalls within the HSE management system that need to be addressed. Incidents and near misses should always be reported because sometimes an incident can be more serious than it first seems. For example, if someone falls, their injury may only become apparent after a few days. At Le Pele, the health and wellness of our employees, contractors and visitors is very important to us. As such, we endeavour to promote healthy lifestyles through education and training at the workplace. Employees, visitors and contractors must work safely to make sure they don't contract an occupational disease or illness. Wear gloves and other PPE when dealing with biological substances and chemicals and be careful to avoid any body fluids if you have to administer first aid. Medical surveillance determines if there are occupational health conditions that exist like potential dangers to your hearing from excessive noise, to your eyesight, loss of lung capacity, kidney function, blood pressure and so on. At Le Pele, we have implemented an employee wellness program which focuses on counselling and trauma management, health and disease management, workplace HIV and AIDS, lifestyle management and executive management. Therapeutic counselling and trauma services are offered to employees and their immediate family members. Throughout the year, we commemorate health calendar events to promote awareness and information dissemination on health issues and concerns like HIV and AIDS, chronic illnesses and the promotion of healthy lifestyles. In order to promote these health and wellness aspects of the workplace, we periodically put on sports and recreational activities, arrange for health screenings, as well as offer training and support for managers so that they are able to manage their well-being and that of the employees under their care. At Le Pele, we subscribe to the 2007 ISO 14001 standard for environmental protection and as such are committed to keeping our natural and working environments safe and free from pollution and degradation and have put preventative and control measures into practice to ensure we preserve our environment and keep our employees, contractors and visitors safe at the same time. Waste generated by Le Pele Northern Water must be separated into the relevant groups and disposed of in the correct dustbins 
and collected or delivered to the authorised landfill site. Hazardous waste, which includes things like oil, fluorescent tubes and printer cartridges, should be collected by accredited service providers and a certificate of compliance received when the hazardous waste is disposed of at an accredited hazardous landfill site. Biological waste is collected by a service provider specialising in medical waste disposal. Access to biological waste storage must be controlled and only authorised personnel are allowed to enter the enclosure. The management of dry sludge is practised at the sewage treatment works, whereby dry sludge is treated with lime and used for agricultural purposes. Under no circumstance is a person permitted to handle dry sludge without the proper PPE. Dry sludge should only be disposed of at a landfill site following laboratory test results recommending disposal options. All sewage treatment works should be operated according to permits or wastewater licenses issued by the Department of Water and Environmental Affairs. The conditions stipulated in the permits or licenses should give guidance towards quality and monitoring compliance. Spill kits are available on Lapele Northern Water sites to assist in the cleanup of spilt chemicals, oil, petrol and diesel. The spill kits are secured with a seal and an incident report must be completed if the spill kit is opened. Chemicals must be stored within a bunded wall that can hold at least 10% more than the chemicals stored in the area, so that the areas around the storage area are kept safe and so that any spilled chemicals might be recovered. A closed non-return valve must be installed to allow for drainage of rainwater and recovery of the spilt chemical. No open fires are permitted at all the Pele Northern Water sites between 1st of August and 31st of October. This time of the year poses a threat of uncontrolled felt fires. Fire breaks at all Lepele Northern Water plants must be completed before the end of July. At Lepele Northern Water, we have implemented a resource conservation program in order to conserve energy and save resources wherever we can. As such, energy saving light bulbs should be used where possible. Geysers must be covered with insulating blankets. Lights should be turned off if the natural light is sufficient to work comfortably. Air conditioners and heaters should be turned off when leaving the work area and sufficient ventilation must be accounted for, especially when using heaters. Leaking taps should be reported and repaired as soon as possible. The poaching of animals at Lepele Northern Water Plants is forbidden. The removal of indigenous plants is not allowed unless absolutely necessary and alien vegetation should be controlled where possible. At Lepele Northern Water Board, we approach safety, health and our environment holistically. But your safety is our top priority. An unsafe workplace is a thing of the past. We pay careful attention to those aspects that make your workplace a safe place. Thank you for paying attention during this video presentation and for helping to make Lepele Northern Water Plants a safe environment for all.